the Mom Choice Awards Studio. We're here at Book Expo 2012, and this afternoon I'm speaking with award-winning author David Pines, author of Pines Picks, The Best Things to Eat and Drink in New York. Welcome to Book Expo, David. Thank you. I'm just happy to be here. That is so cool that you've written a book. What is your favorite thing about your book? What inspired you to write it? Well, I really, I couldn't, I couldn't find the right, like, a guy that had the places to eat in New York City by food, by certain food, and I wanted to show that, like, I knew where the, like, the, where the best places to get a certain food were and what I liked. That's a really interesting approach because I know when we travel with my daughter, who's 10, her question is not what is the name of the restaurant, but where can I get a good burger or some good mac and cheese? Where is the best, your favorite mac and cheese in New York? Um, S-Mac, Sarita's S -Mac. mac and cheese. I like um, the buffalo wing mac and cheese there, buffalo chicken. Now, for all of the various places and all of the various foods in here, have you eaten all of them everywhere? Um, yeah, I have, I've tried each one of them if I picked it and I liked it the best for that food. Cool. Now what are the kinds of things, you said you, when you organized the book, you picked it by food. What about the kinds of things to do? How did you organize those? Um, well, I just, I did it by the certain foods. Even with the, even with the places to go, you did it by food? Oh no, then I would go if it was a winner or a runner up to the winner. Oh, okay. Very cool. Now what are your, if I was a, Kid traveling to New York for my very first time. What kind of things would I be? What What are the things that I should hit first in your book? Probably if you like buffalo wings, atomic wings. Okay. Or baked by Melissa for cupcakes. Yum. Or whatever your favorite food is, um, bar hot dogs. Uh, there's pizza if you're in Staten Island, Pomoni Gardens. This first square pizza. So you've gone through all five of the all boroughs? All five of the boroughs, yeah. That is so cool. Now, how long did it take you to put to collect all of that great research and put it into a book? It took me a while, probably like a year and a half, maybe. Wow. Now, what inspired you to pull it all together and publish a book? Uh, people would really ask me, like, where are the places to go to get certain foods or, like, to describe the foods. Mm -hmm. So that's really what inspired me. Now that you have an award-winning book, what do you want to do next? Do you have another idea for your next I want book? to make a guide every year because all the restaurants are changing, opening and closing in New York City. Now, do you think that as you get older, your tastes will change? I mean, will you, when you start the next book and do a guide every year, will you go back and make sure that you know, the S-Mac, Buffalo Wing Mac and Cheese is still as good as it was yeah, the last I'll, time? Yeah, I'll double try it, or maybe there's a new place I've heard of, or a new place that opened up that could be better, I'll change it. Now, where do you find out about the new places that opened up? Oh, I have a blog on my, on Pines Picks, on the website, for, uh, and I'll, I'll really update it every, every, like, once a week, maybe on the new place I found, or... I think one one week I did I found a soda machine, a cool soda machine. So whatever I find that's cool in New York City, I'll just write that on the blog. Now, do you read other people's blogs to see what they think about places? Yeah, just so I read. I sometimes look at Serious Eats, Midtown Lunch, Chow Hound, just to see maybe if they they said, oh, here's like. L.A. Burdick has really good hot chocolate. I'll go and try that to see if I like it as well. Or, so, but do you compare, when you're doing a comparison and you pick your winner and your runner up, I mean, how many different kinds of hot chocolate, let's say, would you pick before you decide? Seven, eight at the most, probably. That's a pretty good sample, though. Yeah. Cool. Now, what are you looking for? I mean, is there something new that you're going to have in the next book that you had that wasn't available this time? Um, lasagna, some new foods, chicken pot pie. Ooh, where's the best chicken pot pie? I don't know. I'm still looking. You're still I'm looking. Still trying. Yeah, but I've I found new food to try. That's excellent. Now, how? I mean, have you always been so interested in trying lots of different foods? Because I mean, that takes a pretty good. That takes a pretty broad approach. To it. Have you always been interested in taking new, trying new foods? Because I mean, to be able to pick and organize a book by foods would be 
you, you have to be pretty experimental. Yeah, I'm re I'm ready to. I'll try anything, any type of food. I've when I've tried foods from squid ink pasta to like frog legs, so I'm willing to try anything. Do you recommend frog legs in your book? Do you have a place for frog legs? Not yet. I don't. I mean, it depends where you get it. I've had it a couple times. I I don't really love it, but it's okay. Well, and your book is for. Yeah, most kids aren't going to like frog legs either, no. so that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so glad that you came to talk to me about your book. Congratulations. Thank you. Have fun at your book signing. Thank you.